Hi, Sarasota County. I'm Jamie Carson, your Director of Communications, and I'm out here in the vicinity of Cattleman, Palmer, and Packing House to talk about all the road work that's being done out here. And joining me is our Public Works Director, Spencer Anderson. Spencer, thanks for joining me today. Well, hi, Jamie. No problem. I'm glad to be here at this great construction site. We're doing a major rehabilitation of this quadrant of roadways uh, at Palmer, Packing House, and Cattleman, like you mentioned. It goes all the way down to Bay of Vista as well and Jackal to the west. Uh, major infrastructure improvements, multimodal, and making some great progress out here. You'll hear more about that in a minute. Uh, today I have with me Stephen Rigo. He's an engineering intern with Sarasota County and part of our professional engineering development program. Uh, Stephen's been with us about a year. He's actually uh, right now rotating through capital projects and is a project manager on this great construction project. And the professional engineering Devo development program is a four-year program where we bring in young engineers generally right out of college and they go through multiple rotations of different disciplines in Sarasota County engineering uh, that expose them to uh, multiple facets of civil engineering in addition to getting a great exposure to Sarasota County in general and so at the end of their four-year period we hope that they would get licensed as a professional engineer and then move off into another position at the county to move up the ladder and become future leaders within Sarasota County. That sounds like a great program Spencer. If people want more information about that program where should they go? Absolutely. Go to the county website and look for a professional engineering development program. You'll find plenty of information there to look at and actually apply for open positions. Thanks Spencer. I'm excited to talk to Stephen. Thanks for joining us today. No doubt. Hi Stephen. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. So let's talk a little bit about this project. This intersection, these two areas, this is actually part of a bigger overall multimodal project, right? Yep, it's it's the, it's known to be the second phase of Cattleman Road. There, they include inter, intersection improvements at, at the intersection of Palmer and Packing House and, and the intersection of Palmer and Cattleman as well. Um, so what's happening is on, on Palmer and Cattleman, the, um, we're extending them from out from two lanes to four lanes. And, um, and on top of that, we are, we're doing even some, some more work on, on Packing House. We resurfaced it. We're doing some pipe work. We're doing, um, we're doing some utility work on here. It's, it's, a, it's a big mix of So it's a multi-layered project, actually. Yes. It's not just public works. It's public utilities. Capital projects yes, is involved. Yes, it, it definitely is. Yes, capital projects is involved. Public works is involved. Um, and obviously our, our community members are involved, right? As they're driving through this, they're seeing the cones. There's obviously some, been some delays, a little bit more congestion in this area. And we yes. really, from what we, we're asking the community is to continue to be patient, right? We really appreciate yep. everyone's patience. Yes, please con continue to be patient. I'm very optimistic that we'll, we will be done this summer. Um, this summer. And that's, that's also mm -hmm. dependent upon the, the weather, right, Stephen? Yes. Yep. Yep. We have, we have to take weather into consideration as well. And if, and I know in the summer too, it, it tends to rain a lot. Rainy so it season. could, it could be pushed up another, pushed off another month or two because of that. So this is a major project. If, if people want to, you know, we continue to ask for a while, there's cones out for them just to be patient as they're going through the, the intersections. Mm -hmm. And if they want more information, they can always go to our county website, correct? Yep, that is correct. All right, thank you, Stephen. Thank you for your yep. time. Thank you again for having me. Thanks. Thanks for watching. So you heard it from Stephen. If you're looking for more information about this project or any county project, visit our county website at scgov.net. Continue to follow us on social media at srqcountygov. And if you have any questions about county programs and services, give our team a call at 311. Take care and have a nice day.